I'm a terrible Hitman player. I'm not trying to be coy or modest, I really have not played this game that much. So I'm gonna throw myself at this game's most stupidly difficult game mode until I beat it and become the best Hitman player the world has ever seen. I'm referring to Hitman's insane hardcore freelancer mode. I have to take down four crime syndicates, except every death I have to completely restart. Every target is random, there's more targets, more guards, more cameras, every level has a mandatory special goal, disguises can get ruined, the boss levels are harder, I take more damage, and I'm starting with almost nothing. Oh, and on top of that, this game has the most merciless guards on the planet, where doing something as simple as picking up a wet floor sign will cause them to gun you down like a rabid animal without even a shred of mercy, losing you three hours of progress. What is so wrong with picking up a wet floor sign? Who came up with this sh- my journey began in the newest map in the franchise, Ambrose Islands. After doing some reconnaissance, I found a way to complete the mandatory accident kill. One of my targets was a chef, and by disguising myself as a cook, I was able to tamper with the gas stove and create a dangerous leak, causing both my target and the other cook to explode, securing me my first kill of the run. That was the easy part, now for the rest. I moved on to my second target, a woman who was hanging out by the slapping competition in the center of the map. As much as I wanted to get in a slap fight, I hid myself in the bushes nearby and got ready to take my shot. Unfortunately, the only silenced weapon I had left over from a previous video was a submachine gun. I tried to take a controlled shot, but ended up hitting the items and walls around my target, alerting everyone nearby. No amount of dodging and weaving was able to save me from 10 guards unloading lead into me, and I died, losing the only silenced weapon I had and forcing me to restart. So, maybe becoming the best Hitman player in the world won't be as easy as I thought. This death wasn't all for nothing, though. It taught me not to mess with the guards, and that I will not escape once I get more than one shooting at me at the same time, no matter how well I dodge. And weave. I also learned that I am in desperate need of a silenced weapon, particularly a pistol. I desperately needed a silenced weapon. Without one, getting any kills from far away without being swarmed by guards would be virtually impossible. So I decided to go to the richest place I could think of to steal from the rich guards, Dubai. Most guards here are super decked out, and most importantly, have multiple types of silenced submachine guns. As shown 30 seconds ago, silenced submachine guns aren't that great, but I'm desperate for anything I can use to silently pick people off from a distance. I didn't want to waste 40 minutes sneaking around only to die like last time, so I went in guns blazing. I secured every gun that I wanted. So I now had three silenced weapons, and I was using them on every guard I could find. I took down three out of my four targets, arranging a collateral explosion with a propane tank in the process. I was on a killing spree. Nothing could stop me now. I had become the greatest Hitman player of all time. Lesson learned, if I'm gonna get in a fight with guards, I always need to have somewhere to quickly escape to in case I begin getting overwhelmed. And since guards don't have object permanence, closets are the perfect choice. I know everything I need now. Time to finish a run. Return to the safe. Get back to the safe house. Get back to the safe house. You know what? I'm done being a hitman. New plan. I'm gonna rob a bank. If I'm rich, I could just buy a silenced weapon from a dealer instead. Or better yet, I'll just pay my targets to kill themselves. I grabbed a rifle off the shelf and was ready for another gunfight. I got a lucky spawn right outside the bank vault and immediately started blasting everyone I could find. It turns out every single one of my targets is in the same area as the vault, so I went back to being a hitman for a second before returning to my main objective. Sweet, sweet cash. I used a proximity rubber duck I found earlier to blow open the safe containing the key code to the bank vault and opened it up. I was rich. I made over $15,000 from this mission alone. Who knew all you had to do to become rich is just rob a bank? With my newfound success and riches, I made it to the first boss fight, where I was going to take down a crime syndicate leader and put a stop to the sick game syndicate. This mission took me to a super shady nightclub in Berlin, where I would have to identify my target out of nine different suspects. These boss fight missions are extra dangerous because there are lookouts and assassins disguised as regular people, and if either of them notice me or a crime occurring somewhere in the level, they can alert my target causing them to flee the level resulting in an instant fail and a full restart. The only silent weapon I had at this point was a silenced machine gun from that bank I robbed earlier, so I had no choice but to make it work. While I didn't have a silenced pistol, I had something incredible, a rubber ducky. This ducky explodes whenever I want it to and nobody gets suspicious even if I throw it at someone and it immediately detonates. This will let me easily get my mandatory collateral explosion kill without getting killed in the process. I spawned at the top of a shady building towards the edge of the map and took out a lookout, a 
guard, and this guy who was walking around with a thousand dollars in his back pocket. I snuck my way into the nightclub and began clearing out different suspects one at a time. I was looking for someone who was blonde, had a necklace, earrings, a hat, and two personality traits. In other words, not a lot to go off of, especially since I have to get super close to tell if someone is wearing earrings. Eventually, I found my man. It was this guy. Trying to use the ducky on him in a public space was dangerous. Since duckies are so cool and sexy, everyone tries to pick them up the instant they see one. I need to make sure my target or his guard go pick up the duck so I don't kill the wrong person. To do this, I waited for my target to be in a relatively secluded spot on the map, and threw the ducky into his field of vision. Before he knew it, the ducky exploded and annihilated him. Luckily, there's nothing suspicious about throwing something at someone only for it to explode moments later, so nobody tried to stop me as I escaped the mission. I had done it. After hours of work, I completed one-fourth of Hardcore Freelancer. Actually, less, since each tier gets progressively longer and more difficult, but I had done it. I had completed one-sixth of Hardcore Freelancer, and it only took me ten hours hours and 12 attempts. I'm a prodigy. Since robbing a bank went so well the first time, I decided to do it again, except this time I had to complete the mandatory silent assassin goal. This means I can't ever kill someone or let anyone find out a crime has been committed. This means I have to go back to being sneaky, which is probably for the best since I really don't want to lose all my progress at this point. After following people around for like an hour to find the optimal route, I killed my targets and robbed the bank, only to get like half of what I got last time. I got absolutely robbed and only made around 7,000 on this heist and I'm upset. I was so upset that I stormed into the second boss mission ready to show them who's in charge. I found my target and followed him. This idiot still drinks water like some sort of caveman, so I planted a micro-explosive on his favorite cup and destroyed him when he went for a drink. I was on a roll, but it all came to a screeching halt when I returned to somewhere I hate, Ambrose Island, the map that stole my first attempt from me. I was ready for revenge. My first target was a guard who I spawned right next to in the middle of a forest. Actually the easiest kill of my life. I knocked him out and and then used my battering on him to fulfill my mandatory melee requirement. I moved my way over to my second target. He was deep underground in a cave, but I found a nice vantage point to snipe him from, and missed. I took him out with my second shot, but it was too late. Guards had noticed me. I took out the guard behind me, along with two guards near him, and then got shot by a ghost, I guess. Look at this footage. I kill both guards, turn around, and instantly die from where both guards just were. I am losing my mind. It has been 12 whole hours, and I'm still not the best Hitman player in the world. But surely, my next attempt will be different. I have reached a point of zen. Losing 8 hours of work means nothing to me now. I have a concrete strategy. I just need to hit my shots and play the best hitman of anyone's lives. I start by robbing the bank. Easy. Kill a man trying to wash his hands to steal his phone. Easy. Explode a boss. Easy. Cheese the second boss with mass murder. Easy. Alright, we're back to where I had my run mercilessly taken by Ambrose Island, and I am way too scared to take my revenge, so we are not going back there. I was in a flow state of murder at this point. I cleanly ran through mission after mission, taking out every target and anyone who stood in my way. I foolishly chose a syndicate with a map made up of nothing but armed guards, and I got spawned in the center of the map, so I went on a killing spree and got dangerously close to losing it all, but I didn't care. Time was nothing but a construct at this point. It was meaningless. The third boss mission handed me an extremely easy win. My target was hanging out in some random neighborhood in suburban America. I was able to find her almost immediate, and since she was feeling extra nice, she then held a meeting with another suspect and zero guards in a shed with a small window I could shoot through, letting me kill her without making so much as a peep. This was the run. I could feel it. I absolutely tore through all my missions to reach the final boss. I even went on another killing spree just because I could. I was ready for this boss. I chose a special location to make it extra interesting as well. Miami. There's a massive NASCAR style race happening in the center of this map with huge crowds here to see it. This is one of the biggest maps in the game and one of the most heavily populated, but this mode has taken everything from me and I wanted to establish my dominance by finishing the run in style. I spawned at the entrance to the event, giving me plenty of different directions to start looking out for my target. I decided to head towards the parking garage first since it was the easiest to get into without causing any commotion and I could get a guard outfit if I wanted. I got insanely lucky and found my target right away, outside the parking garage just walking around. For some reason he wasn't even suspicious of me like every other suspect has been so far, so I could get as close to him as I wanted without him ever caring. The game couldn't have made it any more clear that it wanted me to win. To top it all off, this guy makes the same mistake as that target earlier and foolishly drinks water, but he makes it even easier by doing it on the very edge of the map with almost nobody around. I was planning on placing a ducky on top of the water bottle, and as we know duckies are super sexy and hot in the Hitman 
Spider-Man universe and everyone wants one, so I needed to make sure it didn't get stolen at the last second. I cleared out the couple people who came near the area, and as this guy drank water like a total moron, I hit the trigger and sent him flying. After 22 hours of playing this insanely difficult game mode, I was done. Like, subscribe, ding dong bell, okay.